My name is Alison Watson. I'm the founder and the chief executive of Class of Your Own. I'm, I'm a land surveyor by profession, but I've not done that for about 10 years uh, because I got myself into the world of education and uh, spent the last 10 years going to schools like the schools I'm taking you today. A DEC school is a school that's delivering design engineer construct to their students. I was frustrated that children didn't have a clue about what construction is and how wonderful the industry is. You know, the, the science, the technology, the engineering, the maths, the STEM um, of construction, I don't think any industry demonstrates STEM better than our construction industry. DEC is Design Engineer Construct. So it's our design programme and it teaches us a lot about engineering and construction. My mum's like an accountant, so I've always been, I've always had a quite, quite like a, a mathy background. So I, I'm re I prefer maths. I'm a more of a number person. So when it came to choosing deck, I thought it was kind of like a no brainer because it was physics and math. You know, we could do loads to get these children enthused and excited about our industry. Let's allow them to design their own schools. But we all wanted them to use digital technology. I actually engaged with a small group of schools and said, OK, we want to try out some industrial software. I wanted a piece of software that would allow the children to use 3D modelling techniques and found Revit. And the children designed their buildings, designed their ideas, um, created their ideas in Revit. And people used to keep saying to me, children can't do this, children can't use industry standard software. <laughs> like, why? Who, who wrote the rules on children? Hi, my name's Nap Scalamore and I am a design and technology and deck teacher at Norbury Manor uh, Business and Enterprise College for Girls, which is an, obviously for the names an all-girls school. From university I applied to work in industry, so I trained in textiles, product management. So I then went into industry for eight years. Once I had children, I couldn't travel. Um, I stayed at home with my kids. Um, for a couple of years, I retrained as a teacher and in design and technology. I've had no construction background, and this teacher said that they've introduced a subject called DEC, so it's Design Engineer Construct. And so we contacted Class of Your Own, and then it just started from there. We got the ball rolling to start training. If you look at a curriculum, you have certain subjects, but they don't lead into a necessarily into a career or skill-based career. Whereas DEC provides that it's actually a real course for a real life. There is an end goal. There is there's no there's no fairy tale around it. A lot of parents would say construction. Does that mean they're going to become builders? And go, no, because there's such a huge array of of careers and highly skilled careers in the industry. We then realised that um, if it didn't go in the curriculum, um, if it wasn't taught by teachers, if it wasn't, if it didn't play its part within the whole sort of school program, then we'd probably not get anywhere. These kind of small, um, ambitious workshops that we were doing, and they had to turn into um, a full learning program. So that learning program, starting with a design of school buildings and eco classroom, was design engineer construct level one. I didn't realise how much actually went into construction. I always assumed that, oh look, there's a new building getting built. I never really thought that there was much behind it. I never thought much of it until you have to research about construction and how much time and effort and all the, the planning is like pretty much the longest part of it I've learned. So it's really opened my eyes. Like you don't realise how much actually happens behind the scenes. We saw the different things that we can research and learn about, such as like planning permission, how long it takes, and different legislations. And it kind of 
went along with the idea of how many stages there are to construction. It's really nice that the 15 students that I've got in the current year 10, I would say at least 10 of them, so would want to pursue a career in this industry. You know, so it is, you, um, with two years, you can already see the benefits of this course, you know, and this area, and just, and it's lovely to see people like Alison from Class of Your Own, the passion she has, and it always rubs off. It just rubs off on you, you get excited about it. Because of DEC, I want to be an engineer. Before, because my dad is an engineer, I always thought it was hard work and I really didn't want to go into that profession. But then I saw DEC and it's just kind of something I want to do. It just makes me want to go and work in the industry. If I can get at least a third of every class that I teach go into that industry, I think it'd be successful because if you imagine every school teaching it gets a third of their students or even 10% of their students going into the construction industry, we'd be a force to reckon within a few years' time. And the fact that our children already have an expectation that um, they're going to go into um, a very um, mobile office, um, introducing the children to BIM 360 and being able to carry that drawing with them on site in their pockets is really, really important. And I'm really looking forward to, you know, working, you know, bringing more schools into uh, seeing the absolute benefit of, you know, working in the cloud and, and, and sharing information in effectively what is real time. <laughs>